for it. Wait, wait. Okay, so we're out. Uh, where are we? This is um, we're in Mars. This, this is Mars. This is what uh, this is Sudbury. This is what Sudbury was before they limed uh, all around. We're actually in the Inco slag pits. We're we're trespassing. Um, we drove in here just so we can get all this nice. If you can see up there, you can see all the um, the sun reflecting and shadows and texture and all that. So obviously we have no uh, electrical outlets here. So. I just want to point out, I bought a, from Innovatronics, I bought one of their power packs. And what I did is I just put it in, uh, I bought this duffel bag at Walmart for $9. And I just stuck it in there. I kept all the uh, original, uh, all the original foam in there. And I cut out either side, so I've got all my ports right there. I can recharge it at the back. I never have to take it out of here. And uh, we've used it for a few shots already and uh, it recharges fast. They say, um, they say you can get up to a thousand, uh, a thousand full cycle uh, shots on a, on a full uh, full charge. So this is what we're using for a portable power. It's uh, an Ovatronics. It's cheap. Say again? Okay, I'm gonna bring them out because that one kicker light is like totally room light. Hey guys, I'm gonna see something. Come out 10 feet. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, right over now. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right about there. So what I have here is I've got two UltraZap white lightnings and I don't have any reflectors on them at all. As you can see this one right in front here, this is actually shining onto the car, but it's also rim lighting my couple, which is over to the left. I also have another one behind the car, and this is just adding like a pin light uh, to my uh, to the back of the car and just giving it a little bit of illumination underneath. Um, I'm just triggering them with my flash. Got some good lighting going on there. So as you can see with the two lights, the light behind the car is actually illuminating the underneath and uh, you know the area around it and also the mountain behind. And my other light actually is adding a nice little kicker light to my couple. Now I shot this with a Canon 10D and a 70-200 to 200 lens and I had my you know my zoom pretty well at 200 millimeters uh, because I did want to have um, you know the, my couple nice and sharp but I also wanted to show the car in the background uh, like I said before I triggered these with um, just I had a, my Canon flash on my camera and I set it to a very low manual exposure probably around 1 16th power uh, and that pretty well triggered the first ultra zap which in turn triggered the other ultra zap and I had both those lights hooked up to my Innovatronics power pack because we were out in the middle of absolutely nowhere and we could not find a um, an electrical outlet anywhere. 